The 15th thing you should never wear is a belt with a vest. What if your trousers fall down? <laughs> what, if, what if you're wearing the belt for, you know, needs? And because you must wear one, as opposed to because you think it looks nice. But again, once again, this man wants you to take off your belt and you just walk around in your pants. Simon so Miller, the bald and burnt a-hole today because the sun hates me even when I put on sun lotion. And somebody randomly sent me this video over the weekend. That is super duper old. It like went live in 2017. But when I saw the title and I saw the thumbnail, I got very, very excited because I enjoy it when people look at you down a camera lens and say, no, you shouldn't be doing that. And it comes from the Gentleman's Gazette. And yes, it is 19 things men should never wear. So if you are a man or you identify a man or anything like that, you are never allowed to wear these things. You hear that? Never ever. And if you do, we shall send you to hell and watch you burn. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we discuss 19 things men should never wear. I know some of you will say, in this day and age, I can wear whatever I want, and you're quite right. Today, you can wear whatever you want. At the same time, you can also inhale asbestos or you can drink water from lead pipes. But just because you can, doesn't mean you should. Yeah, that's the same thing. That's the same thing. If you decide to wear a jacket that somebody else thinks isn't cool, you may as well just expose yourself to asbestos or drink some water from a lead pipe. See, I told you, I told you during the intro, both of these would probably result in death. The first thing you should never wear as a man are sandals. They look particularly bad when you combine them with socks. Sandals, <laughs> you're not allowed to wear sandals. So if you go on holiday to a hot, hot place and you wanna keep your 30 toes cool, you're not allowed to wear open top shoes essentially. And look, I know it's not meant to be the, the way to wear socks, but I tell you this, if that's what you want to do, that's what you should do. How can you justify not wanting to wear sandals? There may be something that people who are really into outdoor stuff wear. <laughs> if you're into outdoor stuff. If you're into outdoor stuff, you may consider sandals, but those people that just stay in their homes all the time, they don't even need them. Sandals will always make you look less smart and immature. Less smart and immature. That is un less smart. Don't worry about the immature bit, because that's just ridiculous. I look immature. I like a stupid walking egg. But less smart? So you could go up to someone, and they could be talking about, oh my gosh, into this mathematical equation I put together from memory alone. They go, yeah, bro, but you're wearing sandals. The irony of that is that you would be the less smart one for judging someone for wearing this kind of too. But what should you wear instead? Well, for summer, I think an ideal shoe are alpargatas. I hate this guy. The second thing you should never wear are cargo shorts. They just make you look like a douchebag. Well, somewhere Steve Austin just said, what, son? Look, when I was a kid and growing up, do you hear my hero was Stone Cold Steve Austin? He used to wear cargo shorts all the damn time. What could possibly be, I'm repeating myself. Having items in your cargo shorts pockets make you look asymmetrical. And because of that, it sends a subconscious signal to others that you're just not as well put together and they can't put their finger on it. But in any case, they will think less highly of you. Wow, he just actually said, because of the way the pockets are placed on a pair of shorts, people will think less highly of you. Now look, I don't want to open this up for debate, but who would you rather be friends with? The guy that wants to wear cargo shorts because he likes them, or the guy that decides you are a, well, you're scum, basically. You're scum because you're wearing these shorts. You can pick whoever you want. I know where I'm going. Third men's style pet peeve is wearing a matching tie and a pocket square. Oftentimes they come in sets, usually in ugly, shiny satin, and sometimes they're even pre-folded pocket squares or pre-tie ties that you clip on. And if you wear this, it just looks so cheap. What the flub is going on? You know, that's a color coordinate because it makes you look stupid. Look, I'll be honest with you. Don't like wearing ties. Don't like suits. Never worn a pocket square. But if you want to do it, go nuts. But if you want to have blue and blue, you want to have blue and red, you want to have green and yellow, what business is it of anybody else? My fourth style pet peeve is wearing a suit with short socks. No one wants to see your hairy calves. See, that kind of makes sense in one way, right? Like if you did wear some short socks and then you crossed your legs and everybody could see your exposed hair. Yeah, you may feel a little bit uncomfortable and somebody must go, well, that's a little bit weird. But never wear? No, it's just a sock at the end of the day. Like we've all been in those positions where we thought, okay, my trousers are a little bit too high. But to scrap like that all down and make a flipping video about it and say you can never, you can never wear short socks. This guy doesn't have any problems. This guy has no financial problems. This guy has no relationship problems. This guy has no family problems because he is more worried about people walking around there with a sock that isn't the accurate length of his own pleasures. The first thing you should never wear is a necktie 
with a dress shirt when the top button of a dress shirt is unbuttoned. Well, listen here, Jabron. I had to do that for years because I couldn't find a shirt that fit me properly. I either had to buy a shirt that was so big that I could get it around my neck, but it was like wearing a tent, or I had to go the other way. I didn't like wearing a tent shirt, so I just decided well, I'm just going to pop the open top button. And nobody ever said a word. I get that it doesn't look very professional, and I get it does look smarter if you can do it up, but sometimes needs must. So why don't you walk a day in my sandals before you start judging me? My sixth pet peeve are shirt collars that are too big. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> now you've put me in an awkward situation. Again, nowadays I can find shirts that, 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 that work for me. But if we go 10 years ago, I just told you. Either the collar was too big or the shirt was too big. So now you're telling me if I wear any of these shirts, I'm screwed. So what am I meant to do? I don't want to break your 19 things men should never wear rules. But you have now forced me into a corner. It's almost like this is a pile of gibberish. The seventh thing you should never wear are square-toed shoes. Usually it's what you find in lower-end shoes under $100. Oh, my days. So now I have to spend over a hundred dollars on shoes. What? I've never even noticed if I bought a, a pair of square-toed shoes. This is what really gets me mad, right? It should be 19 things men should never wear if they're flub and loaded. You can't. You, if you're going to give tips like this, it should be for everybody, or you should make it very clear from day one. I'm talking to the the more wealthy people of planet Earth. Who the Brr, rude work and spend a hundred dollars more on a shoe just because the cheaper ones have square. That's not even true. I've seen that. this guy is more. My eighth style pet peeve are tennis socks. Shut up. <laughs> I wear, wear tennis socks right now. I call them sports socks. I wear them at the gym. I wear them when I go to work. I wear them whenever I want. Don't you take my sports socks away from me. They're comfortable and I like them. The ninth thing you should never wear is the Windsor tie knot. The problem is most people wear it with cheap, shiny ties and it makes you look like a used car salesman or an insurance salesman. And what is wrong with being a used car salesman or insurance salesman, gentleman gazette? Maybe some people like that job. I don't know if some of them can be swami, but I'm sure some of them do a good job as well. Don't you just manifest people. That's not the right word at all. Don't you just throw people into one big jug? That's not fair. That's what we do, not, not what we do here. I don't agree with any of this rubbish. The 10th thing you should never wear are satin silk ties, especially not for day wear. Guy just wants you to spend money. If we get to the end of this video and he goes, oh, you can buy all of my clothes, I'm going to kick his ass. I'm not going to kick his ass. That'd be ridiculous. My 11th style pet peeves are sports sunglasses. Yes, you know what I'm talking about? Those mirrored sunglasses that you maybe wear when you're outdoor in the woods. It's unbelievable. This is unreal. Don't wear your sports sunglasses where your aviators. Now, who, the, the, who has got a collection of sunglasses other than people that have an abundance of cash? I don't know. But why would you put something on your face that you don't like? Maybe you put those sports sunglasses on, they make you feel like the most confident man ever. Never wear, he's telling you, never wear. He's telling you to never wear them, ever, ever. Which means even if he actually goes on to say, well, you can wear them if you're doing sports, he's lying, because in the title it says never. My 12th pet peeve is when grown men wear jerseys in public. By that I mean sports jerseys that you usually only wear if you go to a sporting event and you want to support your team. Otherwise, they're wholly inappropriate and just always make you look very immature. Inappropriate and immature. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So you get love from your sports team. And that's what you've decided your passion is. Good for you, man. We have to get through every single day as best as we possibly can. And this a-hole thinks it will make you look immature. I'm done with it. I'm gonna, if I ever meet him, I'm gonna go wearing every single sports jersey I own. 13. In the same vein, go slogan t-shirts. They just make you look like a 13-year-old boy. No, I don't. I live my life off slogan t-shirts, especially on ups and downs. Check it out, what culture wrestling. I, niche, slogan, image t-shirts are basically a collection of mine, and I'm never gonna stop. And not only do they bring me joy, sometimes people tweet me at Cheap Plug Assignment 316, and they tell me that they get joy as well. Also, he chose to showcase a Batman one here. So now I doubly dislike him because he's going after the Dark Knight. My 14th style pet peeve is when men wear regular neckties for black tie events. You see it on the red carpet in Hollywood every year around the Oscars, and it's just plain wrong. This is a formal dress code, and it looks like you don't know what you're doing. I don't care if you, oh, that guy doesn't know how to dress. Well, I do because I put clothes on today. No, you don't know how to dress. Now, I definitely do, again, because I'd be naked otherwise, and you'd be looking at my penis. I've said it once, I'll say it twice. This guy has nothing else to worry about. Nothing else to worry about. And if dudes in Hollywood, and women in Hollywood or whatever, turn up to events, probably means there's something in it. The 15th thing you should never wear is a belt with a vest. What if your trousers fall down? <laughs> what, if, what if you're wearing the belt for, you know, needs? 
and because you must wear one, as opposed to because you think it looks nice. Again, once again, this man wants you to take off your belt and you just walk around in your pants. And given that he just told me that I have to have a very specific tie wearing a suit, I'm going to assume one of his nevers would be, don't walk around in just your underwear. My 16 style pet peeve are backpacks. I think only schoolboys should wear backpacks. Otherwise, there's no place for them in public, unless you go hiking. That's the best one, right? That's why I use it in the thumbnail. Don't wear backpacks. Do you know what a backpack is there for, for putting things in? It is just a storable container that is also portable. You can travel with it. But this schmo doesn't want you. Let's find out why. Otherwise, with backpacks, it's very easy to hit people without even noticing it, which is not just rude, but just not polite. It's easy to hit people without noticing. Sounds like a good idea. Get a leather satchel instead, a briefcase. But a leather briefcase, right. One, you can't get as much in a leather briefcase. And also two, if you're going on some kind of recreational thing that isn't hiking, you probably don't want to take a leather. That is actually bad, stupid advice. I never seen someone in a backpack and go, they look like a school child. Backpacks are awesome, right? And bum bags are awesome. And you know what else is awesome? Lunch boxes with He-Man on it. My 17th style pet peeve are men who wear ties that are way too long. The problem is they come underneath your jacket and if you don't wear a jacket, they even accentuate your balls. They accentuate your balls. This guy's got a problem, man. This guy, <laughs> this guy's a weirdo. That's the strangest thing I've ever said. If you wear a long time, it accentuates your testicles. These are things, why does this video not get blocked, but all of mine do? I think we're one of the only stores that offers the entire threefold classic neckwear range in short. I knew it. I knew it was gonna tie into plug in some flipping wares. My 18th pet peeve are large armholes in a suit or a jacket. The 19th thing you should never wear as a self-respecting man are big, gaudy wristwatches. All right, I'm done with this guy. This is the stupid thing I've ever heard. Don't wear too big a jacket. Don't wear a big wristwatch. Don't wear any wristwatch. Wear a Rolex. Wear an Apple Watch. Who cares? Why do we care what somebody else is wearing? I can't believe that these videos exist on the internet. I don't know why somebody sent this to me, but again, I knew it was gonna... <laughs> It was going to rile me up. So I was like, I'm going to make a video about it. It's just so strange. It's just it's just so bizarre. I'm going to read some of the comments too. Fortunately, this probably won't be up on the screen. I mean, the first one is brilliant. If I'm 16, if I follow this, I would most likely be bullied in school. Don't bully anyone, but I see where he's coming from. Notice he didn't say anything about holsters, bandoliers, chain metal cloaks. Do with this what you will, gentlemen. That's true. So we can wear capes and put a mask on if we want. And everything's going to be okay. There's something very satisfying about not getting approval from this guy for my choices. I think mostly people have understood this is crazy. And then we'll finish with this one. Hitting people with back pops, backpacks is not just rude, but it's also not polite. It's like a sentence you see in an essay when someone runs out of things to say but needs to squeeze more words into their work. I mean, it is totally true. And the reason I think probably I felt like I need to react is on 3.6 million views. And he's got 1.38 million subscribers. What other videos does he have? I didn't actually look. I just clicked that one. His latest one was well, uh, this, uh, how to wear white as a menswear color. Beat the heat in style. Nine essential pocket squares every stylish man needs. I mean, that's kind of okay. If you're into that kind of thing, he's probably going to steer you in the right direction. But that one is why did men stop wearing dress watches? I don't know, because life got way too expensive and it's crazy. Madness. Do you, right? It's massively important. If you have uh, self-confidence issues or you're feeling a bit wibbly wobbly one day and you see that, it's probably going to absolutely break you. You don't need that in life. You're good just as you are. You just need to find that. It's going to take some time and that's cool. You're a human being. Take it day by day and remember everybody is wibbling wobbling all over the place. That's terrible. Now, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the bell ding ding so you know when other videos are going live. And please do click the other video on the screen and make sure you leave a comment below. And I will now pimp my wares. Grillamine.com forward slash Simon because Simon get 10% off. I like Grillamine products. I think they're good and I use them. So the fact that I can share a code with you in case you want to use them makes me warm and fuzzy in my tum tum. In Greg Doucette's Power 13 cookbook. Add Simon316 on Instagram and Twitter. Patreon.com forward slash Simon316 if you want to get exclusive videos and support me that way. Simon at the bigcartel.com for merch. I'm on Cameo if you want to shout out. Otherwise, that's it. Dressed however the you want and do it how it makes you happy. See you soon.